Okay, so um, I haven't really done uh, a video, I don't think, on this or a write-up. Um, I am working on a post, a series of um, kind of escape and evasion kind of um, topics. Um, I've done a post on escape plans. Um, we've done some conversations about some of the items in here. Um, but I don't think I've ever done a real video of what I carry in my go-to or my E&E &E kit. Um, so why carry an E&E &E kit? Um, quickly, there's many different uh, reasons why you might want to carry something like this. Um, hopefully you never have to use any of this stuff on here, just like anything in a first aid kit. Um, but my approach to it is that I want to be able to carry tools that would be handy for emergencies, um, any kind of emergencies or different types of um, situations that arise. So first, the container is a go-to by Oscar Delta. Um, fantastic container, uh, great size. Um, it's kind of a rubbery, kind of capped material um, on, a, on a plastic tube that's been cut down. Um, and, you know, one of the advantages to this is, is of course, in its design is that um, this can be used for a rectal cavity um, uh, um, concealment if absolutely necessary. Um, so hopefully nothing ever comes down to something like that. Um, but this is, <laughs> the, the, that's the, the design by that. And, um, you know, it's, uh, what it is. So, you know, if it's too big, uh, you can always cut it down and make it sh smaller. Um, you know, if you want, if you wanted to do that. Um, but, um, I think the size for me is, is pretty good. Um, and if it's not in my ankle kit, it can sit in a backpack. Um, I carry this with me certainly wherever I travel, when I travel globally in particular. Um, so we'll get into some of the some of the items here. Uh, so first off, a little button compass. Um, I'd like to do a little history on, on button compasses because I think they're just fascinating. Um, the, the, the way that they've been designed and how they're designed and used. Um, there's a lot to it, actually, than you'd think. Um, so button compass is the first thing you, I have on here, the first thing you pop out, um, because this is something that you might actually need kind of quickly, um, just to kind of orient yourself, get your, your cardinal directions, um, and kind of know where to go. So it's kind of a handy thing to have. Um, also I would like to note that it's not only just for finding directions, but you can use this for setting traps and say like a hotel room so that you know if a maid has or someone has um, broken into your hotel room, gone through your stuff, your computer, whatever. Um, so it's kind of a cool multi-purpose uh, tool. I think I'll just kind of dump out the rest of this here. Um, so handcuff key, um, this is part of the little kind of round um, concealment handcuff keys. Um, I broke this out of the concealment. I think when you when you're carrying a handcuff key, one here key is not enough. Um, I think you should have multiple keys if you're going to be carrying handcuff keys. And so, um, in the pants that I carry when I travel, for example, um, they're pre sewn in, so it's they're ready to go. They're all in there. Um, this is a key that I've cut out um, so that I could store it in the tube. But these little eyelets here, those are for sewing. Um, and so I can take a needle, uh, which I have in here, and I can sew this into a cuff, a hem, whatever pants that I'm, I'm carrying or, or I'm wearing at the time, uh, should I need to. And then I've got some Kevlar cordage here. Um, so Kevlar cordage is super handy. Um, if you don't have Kevlar cordage, um, you can get by for, with a lot of functions that's just simple um, dental floss. This is certainly the upgrade to dental floss. It's got a much, much higher tinsel strength. Um, you can use it as a saw to get through restraints. Um, so you can use it for many, many different things. Um, and one of the things that people often don't talk about is fishing. So I've got a couple fishing hooks in here and um, I've 
traveled um, and got had some time on my hands um, and actually had used this as a kind of a little makeshift fishing kit just to just to mess around and kind of kill some time so um, so Kevlar cordage lightweight a little more expensive than dental floss but a lot more useful for obviously for lots of different things from repair to escape invasion um, to sewing on your little uh, your um, handcuff keys. So I have a needle here. Um, I've got another needle. Um, if you saw the video on my uh, ankle carry, I have a safety pin. A uh, safety pin can't obviously fit into this tube. It could, but I just didn't have room and I thought a needle would be a little bit more, more functional. So I've got a couple different size needles for that reason. These are also magnetized needles. Um, so what that means is that I can use it as a makeshift compass should I not have my compass for some reason. So uh, just an extra step. Um, the, the next thing here are these little um, light um, glow, glow sticks. These are micro glow sticks. These are used for, I think, ice fishing. I got it at Walmart in the fishing section. Um, Ed's Manifesto um, talks about carrying these and um, I've used them in the field too for opening up locks and at night um, and they work out they actually work out quite quite nice um, better than I had expected uh, they last for a long time I can't remember how long maybe three hours two hours or so correct me if I'm wrong I think but I think that's kind of how long it lasts I was pretty surprised um, but uh, if you need light for whatever task um, you know having something like this is again kind of a handy thing to have um, this is a ferro rod um, start a fire uh, should you need to um, you know a lot of times people carry the bigger bulkier ones and and that's great um, but the likelihood that you're gonna ever gonna start a fire like say in an urban environment is pretty slim so not necessary to carry something like this but um, you know, should you need it, you have it. Um, and this is not the one of the best strikers I've ever used by any means. Um, it's a little frustrating and hard to deal with because it's so small, but it's accessible. Um, chalk. Um, chalk is something I think that a lot of times people don't talk about or, or leave, and this is a communication device. So you could leave messages. If you're traveling somewhere, you could write an, you know, just draw an arrow of your direction of travel. Um, you can, you know, mark a dead drop, um, leave a note, um, all sorts of stuff you can do with, with chalk. So, um, I thought this was kind of a nice handy thing to have on there. Diamond saw, again, this is one of those things where you probably never hope you never have to use or need to use. Um, but it's kind of multiple purposes. So you can use it for a lot of different things, um, from escape, but also key impressioning. Uh, so if you need to make a key out in the field. Um, and you don't have other tools, this is something that could be done as well. So, um, and then some bobby pins. These are um, just super awesome material to make a lock pick. So when you're traveling, and you there's different laws obviously on lock picks and different, you know, people see a lock, a lock pick set and they might think, you know, wonder why you'd want to have one. But to be able to have some materials to fashion a lockpick is sometimes um, better than to actually have the set on hand, especially if it's illegal. Um, so the nice advantage to these hairpins is that they can be hidden in your hair. Uh, they can be hidden on your body, um, on clothing, um, and pretty much anywhere um, by the nature of their design. So not only are they it's a material that's handy, but it's also something that you can very easily hide or have in your pocket and no one's going to think twice about seeing something like this um, versus you know for whatever reason you've been searched and they find a set of lock picks so um, then the only last thing here um, and I'm going to do a video on that is the um, little black disc here um, which is just an NF, NFC tag and then I put in the cap here it sits perfectly in this cap and I'll do a video specifically on that NFC 
So with that, hopefully you enjoyed this little video on uh, Escape and Evasion Kit. If you've got any questions or have any suggestions, uh, please put them below. Um, but again, it's not just about escape and evasion. It's also about just having some nice handy tools for whatever purposes come about.